Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you the best pieces from the Cezanne 4 collection and then also some of the pieces that I didn't really love, either the quality or fit, and I decided to send back. Before you get started, you'll find my height and sizing information in the description box down below. I'll always mention it if there is something odd about sizing, but if it just runs true to size, I might just mention it down below. Something that looks really boring on the Cezanne website, but is actually so beautiful in person, is this Sammy nail set. We've got this Sammy sweater and then this nail skirt in navy. The best thing about this set is that it's made from completely natural fibers, so it is a cotton merino wool blend. And that just makes the set so comfortable to wear. To be honest, if it was 100% wool, sometimes it can feel maybe a little bit scratchy. If it was synthetics, you could feel very hot in a set like this. And because it's got that natural fiber and blend of cotton, I think it's really so comfortable and practical for a transitional season and then maybe going into slightly cooler weather as well. Something else that makes this one special is the fit. So especially for my petite girls, I think this skirt fits extremely well. I'm 160 centimeters, 5 foot 3. It hits at the perfect length. With this top, it doesn't look that special on the website or even as I'm holding it up. But when I have it on, I just feel like it looks like it was made for me who is more petite. The neckline's higher, it kind of fits really well here. I like that the sleeves fit at the perfect length and it's really important for this style because it's got the buttons here. If the sleeves were too long, I honestly feel like these details wouldn't look that good on the cuff. I often style this set together because I love how it looks, but of course you can wear them separately as well. With this skirt, I love pairing it with textures that are different to the skirt. So with a sweatshirt or with just like a knitwear in a slightly different material, I think it looks really nice with this skirt. And then with this navy sweater, I honestly can't think of anything that it wouldn't go with, but especially with midi skirts because it's not too long, it feels very seamless when you try to tuck that in. Um, and you don't get too much bulk. For sizing, I got this in the extra small and I went one size up for the skirt. I would say both of these pieces are true to size as I tend to be one size bigger on the bottom than I am the top. Let's talk about the Selena next, which is what I am wearing. This is just an extremely fluffy white cardigan with these puff sleeves and very, very thick, cozy texture. The first thing you need to know that maybe is not obvious on the website is that this is a thicker, very warm cardigan. It's not lightweight, it's not airy, it is quite thick. So as you can see here, it's got the puff sleeves. On a lighter sweater, this would be more subtle, but because this is quite thick, it is quite a dramatic puff and sleeve. Honestly speaking, this is a cardigan you'll either love or you'll hate. And I think you'll love it because it feels very princessy, very girly. I just feel like it feels so angelic with the big sleeves and this white fluffy material. But at the same time, you might really hate it because it just looks quite bulky and it really does feel a little bit more fussy when it comes to styling. I like that it's got these dainty little buttons against this chunkier style and I think they balance each other out nicely. How would I wear a cardigan like this? So I feel like don't tuck the whole thing in, that's first. I would do a half tuck on one side and then leave the other one out. You can do a small front tuck and then leave the sides and back out, or you can just wear it more open as you would a cardigan. I also like the idea of wearing this form-fitting dress and then putting this cardigan on top and just wearing it open. So this looks really nice because you've got something form-fitting and then you've got this chunkier, cozier piece. I'm wearing a tank top inside for reference. So this is sitting on my bare arms. I find it very comfortable here. On my neckline, I'm feeling a little bit of scratchiness. I can, I can feel the wool. If you have normal skin, I think this is fine. It's very comfortable to wear. Compared to other Cezanne sweaters, it's not as comfortable as like a merino or merino cotton would be, but it sits in that midpoint because there are also a lot of scratchier sweaters I've tried from them as well. Today's video does highlight a lot of staples, but the one piece that is super fun is this blouse. This blouse here is in a berry color scheme. We've got raspberries and we've got purples and then we've got a little bit of a light yellow or cream running through. It's made from 100% linen, not some light thin linen. It's 100% linen before the four. So it's slightly thicker, um, slightly more substantial than your average linen top. Obviously, this is not a classic piece I will wear like the rest of these items, but I kind of think of this like one of my Doe Wem blouses. Every time I wear it, it feels really wonderful, um, but I might just be wearing it like once a month 
once every two weeks, something like that. I got this one in size 34 or US 2 and I will say this one is quite generous in fit. So if you're in between sizes, you can size down. If you want a slightly less voluminous look, you can also size down. Not only do I feel like I can wear this in four, I also feel like this will be really great for summer as well because it is made from 100% linen. So I can so see myself tugging this into a pair of shorts, um, wearing it with a white midi skirt, and then of course also wearing it with trousers and heavier pieces for fall autumn. What sets this plaid apart from maybe other plaid shirts I've seen is definitely the color combination. I think just the purple, black and raspberry tone with the light yellow just makes it feel so fresh to me and it breaks it up from traditional plaid colors that I have seen. I just think it looks very very pretty styled in the different outfits and I actually think these three outfits are some of my favorites from today's video. One of the things I've always found hard to find at Cezanne are good trousers. And it's usually not just about hemming the trouser, it's not just about the length. It's about the length, the fabric used, the rise, and how these things come together. These are the Emilio trouser. So what I love about this pan is that it finally fits. I haven't tailored this, I haven't adjusted the length. It fits. I was in between sizes and I decided to go up, which felt like the right decision because most of Zan trousers run kind of half a size small, in my opinion. This pant is made from 100% virgin wool and then it's got a very light, very thin, comfortable viscose lining. I really like how well this one fits on my height. It's got the pressed crease at the front. It's got two of these cute little pockets and also a very pretty kind of button design as well. The crease at the front is sewn in, so you don't have to worry about it disappearing. It is sewn in as opposed to pressed. Something you should know about these pants if you're interested is that it is a thicker wool material. So it is very warm. And then the second thing is that because it's made from this thicker material, it doesn't have the same drape um, that I might think of when I think of more traditional tailored trousers and suiting. They are definitely also on the structured side as opposed to being drapey or flowy or anything like that. For my tops, I will wear with something more form-fitting so that there is a play of proportions. Something fitted, something more structured and wider. And then for knitwear, I probably wouldn't pair it with something like this. This would be far too bulky. Both of these pieces are very similar shape. They're both more thick, more bulky. So it'd be way too much. Instead, I might do something like this hoodie. This is a lighter material, it's got that slouch and kind of drape to it and I think that actually pairs quite well with this pant especially in those colder months where you do still need something warm You can't just wear like a little tank top or just like a thin fitted knit This entire pant is lined with this thin viscose lining It actually feels extremely extremely breathable and sometimes when I'm wearing this pant I can actually still feel a little bit of the wool because this lining is so Thin. If you have wool sensitivity, I wouldn't recommend these 100% wool pants because you can feel the wool through the lining and I think it could cause a bit of irritation. If more regular skin, wool knitwear usually doesn't bother you, then it should be fine because it is fully lined. What will make this pant like my holy grail pant um, and one of my like absolute favorites is potentially for them to come out with a wool material that has a bit more drape um, A little bit less structured more drape something I've talked about quite a lot on my channel already is this blue blouse I think this one is called the like Afreda Afreda shirt This one is just so girly so pretty and I have a lot of wardrobe staples in my wardrobe like tailored trousers uh, more modern silhouettes of denim and all of that just looks so good with this blouse what i love about this one is just how many details there are in just a single piece on the blue fabric you've got the stripes the buttons are these like very pretty like mother of pearl buttons um, you've got the lace details i've worn this one in a lot of ways whether that is by itself with different colors of pants whether that is wearing it with a jacket layered over the top and i've also tried wearing this underneath my gunny dress and i also love that layering where you can see the details of the blouse um, but it's in a different look. This piece really looks like nothing on the hanger, but it is very pretty once it's on. So this is just like a black cardigan, and I need to show you up close the details. It's got a slight kind of print on the fabric. We've got some lacy details going down. And then the main detail is definitely the scalloping on the neckline in the front and back. I just really like that edge. I, the scallop edge I think is just super pretty once on. And then what I also like is that this one looked quite cropped and like it would fit my height quite well. And I was right. It hits me at a really good length, kind of just 
at the bottom of my waist. The sleeves fit really well and it really feels like a cardigan design for someone who is more petite. The fabric of this one is the viscose and also synthetic blend. This one obviously doesn't have the wool feeling because there's no wool. Um, so if you have sensitivity then you might find this one ideal. With this cardigan, I can tuck it into a skirt or a pair of trousers, but I also really like to just leave this one out, maybe do up some of the buttons and then leave some of the buttons undone. And I think that it creates a really nice shape because it's not too long to begin with, so it feels okay to leave it out. And then I also love wearing it open like a cardigan because it does hit at that perfect length where I get the crop look, um, so I don't feel like I need to always tuck it in. I think the details on this basic really elevate these outfits I'm wearing it with, but honestly, it doesn't show up on camera that well just because it's black. It's a lot prettier in person. There's been so many new colors of the Betty cardigan, so I wanted to mention it again here. I recently purchased one in cream, and I've had my navy one for quite a few years already. So I've actually got another one coming in the mail. This one is not for me, this one's for my mom, and I got it for her in the green. So what I love about the Betty cardigan is that it looks so good as a jacket. It's very, very cropped. It's probably more cropped than anything else I've shown today, and it's got a bit of structure to it. Along with that, it's also made from 100 100% merino wool. From fabric to shape to the versatility, I feel like the Betty just kind of wins in all of these categories. I often get a comment on YouTube or a DM on Instagram asking what I recommend from Cezanne for someone who's making their first purchase. And for me, it's always just the Betty. It's probably the best quality, most versatile piece. I own from them. I've actually just received in the mail the Betty in the green color. So this one is in a size small. I went one size up for my mom and I think that this color is absolutely stunning. If you find yourself wearing a lot of more cool tone colors in the autumn winter, I would say this green shade is the perfect color to bring in. If there's a lot of black, a lot of navy, a lot of gray, I think this green will look so so nice with those outfits, just making it feel a little bit more warmer and more cozy. I'll put this one next to another green so you can see the differences. This one is very warm. It's like a warm olive green um, with a lot of yellow in there, whereas this one is more your Kelly green. While there are tons of knitwear releases on Cezanne, I would say the ones that have caught my eye the most are the ones that have this braid design. With this next sweater, I was really drawn to this braid design that kind of goes around the sides. I think this is just absolutely stunning. I've also seen this braid on some more neutral options, which I'll link down below, but this design is what really got me about this sweater. This is definitely a statement color, but this one comes with a higher neckline. It's got three of these buttons on the side. So you can either do it up so it's a high neck or you can have it folded down um, so there is a bit more of a relaxed look. This one has also got a little bit of a puff sleeve um, that cuffs in, but I would say the green one is a little bit less dramatic than the cream. The most special part is definitely this lace pattern. It looks so stunning. And then with the yarn used, you can see this brighter green shade, and then you've also got some lighter green mixed in, just to add a bit more depth and color to this piece. The fabric composition of these two are extremely similar, if not actually the same. To the hand, it does feel very plushy and soft, and both of these I would consider some of Cezanne's more comfy um, mohair blend sweaters. For styling this piece, I would say my favorite ways to wear green would be with cream colors and navy. Those are probably my go-to because they're just the neutrals that I think pair really, really well with green. If you like greens, you feel like you look good in greens, this is definitely a head turner and a bit of a showstopper with the color, design, and just all the details. You might notice there are a lot of tops, not a lot of skirts or bottoms. And that's just because I'm not seeing any I really like. I thought I would just talk again about my Sandy skirt because this is probably my favorite of the styles they do. This one just feels like the perfect shape where it doesn't cling on me too much but it also kind of shows and hugs the figure quite well. It is lighter weight but I think it would look really chic just with some taller boots as well um, for autumn winter. I love the black with white and then the yellow in the flowers I think looks really nice as well. They just don't do, in my opinion, really versatile patterns in their skirts. I find a lot of them quite dramatic when I might just be looking for something very subtle and dainty 
and simple to wear every day. We've talked about the things I love and I want to share with you the things that I received and I sent back. And there's actually been quite a lot of pieces and I'm kicking myself that I didn't like take a video or a photo of them. I'll just let you know in as much detail as I can why I ended up sending these back. So first up, we've got this Katrina dress. Because it's got a high neckline and because it's got those vertical stripes going down, it just looks very awkward and just incredibly shapeless. So what would make this dress better for me is that if it didn't have the high neckline, I think even just like a little bit of like neck, um, I think will make the shape of it more flattering. These vertical lines have an elongating effect. Oddly in this situation, I just didn't like that it felt like it was almost dragging me down and it really just didn't make me feel taller. If anything, it made me feel a little bit silly in this kind of um, dress. Something I also really didn't like is this Bettany cardigan. I kind of thought this one could be similar to the Betty and honestly in the photos I could tell it was a bit longer but I couldn't really see a lot of the detail. I just think that it was quite long, um, a little bit longer than what I would have liked and it was a little bit more form-fitting. So it would kind of glide over my hip in a way that I just didn't find very flattering. The sleeves on this one were really long on me, so it would go into my hands, and that is definitely a pet peeve of mine when there is just no cuffing and no ending to the sleeve. So I was talking about skirts earlier, and I have ordered a few skirts, all of which I've kind of sent back. So this is a denim skirt that I thought was really cool. This was before I purchased my denim skirt that I now own and I was willing to give this patchwork design a try. So I went with my usual size and it was so tight I couldn't do up any of the buttons. That was the first deal breaker but I was also just a little bit disappointed with quality. It had this really strong like chemical smell. I find a lot of cheap denim uses these really harsh chemicals and I expect that but with more fancy denim I kind of don't expect that so that was a little disappointing. This skirt made me realize how important a zip is. With the buttons, I just feel like the gaping um, isn't flattering. During a day, I do feel like we fluctuate a little, like in the morning um, versus like after a big meal, it's going to be different. And I feel like with buttons, the gaping, it's never that flattering um, throughout a day. I've recently been contemplating just having like a shorter skirt in my wardrobe as a bit of a change. So one of the styles I tried was this Tanya skirt, but honestly, this was too short. I would definitely like flash um, my butt cheek during the day as I'm wearing it. And I also found with this shape of skirt, it's very flat at the front and I do feel like it does accentuate any shape you might have there. So I didn't find it to be like ultra flattering either. Um, number one is this Antonio jumper. So this one I was tempted by, but I did find this material to be a little bit scratchier than what I would like. The striped knit was made from alpaca, mohair, and then polyamide. So I know from like knitting and like just feeling different like balls of yarn that Mohair can be one of those materials that can be irritating. So I feel like maybe it's that that was bothering me. This was definitely a bit scratchy and I have far too much knitwear to justify anything that is going to be uncomfortable. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed this one, I make tons of other videos on my channel about Cezanne. And then I also just share tons of style tips and ideas for your wardrobe. Have a really lovely week and I'll see you next one. Bye.